Oh, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Cesar, and we are talking about Bitcoin Cash today. Shout out to the Dragon Riders in the House of the Dragon. You guys, right? It's just day by day, we're seeing the the, the evolution, the, the escalation of this, this move. We are not in breakout territory yet. Volume is still just sad. It's absent. It's not there. It's non-existent. Um, when the volume comes in, when we get a directional heading with that volume, we will have the directional heading of our next move. Is this a move, a consolidation, and then a move lower, or is it a move, a consolidation, and then a move higher, a reversal? We don't know. Generally speaking, when you move down, you consolidate to the upside. Generally speaking, you do break down. I am calling for the upside, the less common maneuver, because if we do break down, um, we would go, we would go pretty low, guys. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna tell you right now if this is halfway of the move like this is this is a a checkpoint of this move down i mean likely we would go all the way down below three hundred dollars which i just don't see bitcoin cash doing that that doesn't make sense to me at least we would drop down to 343 and again still that just doesn't make sense to me so i'm i'm accepting of it as a possibility though it doesn't make sense to me i am kind of disregarding it and expecting that we do move up when we break above about 508 dollars 500 dollars whatever whatever number i think 500 would be more significant but 508 based on this fib we break above that it's on to the upside i think as the days go on as i've been saying since this i've been saying these exact words as the days go on this low will be more uh convincing Right, we'll be more confident that it is a low once we get above that 236 and maintain prices above that 236 for several days. It'll be indisputable at that point, and obviously, once we break out of this whole consolidation phase to the upside, um, well, then then we have other things to worry about besides where the higher low is. We got to worry about where our next high is, and I do think that that high. This is the same old song and dance, guys. It's not a brand new video. This is you've you've heard this before. Is going to be anywhere about eight hundred forty-four dollars to about one thousand thirty-five dollars. That's the next target area, and I think what we're in right now really is is not a move down and then a consolidation of a move down. What we're in is a move up, consolidation down, and then another move up. Right. So, but it depends depends on how it's interpreted. Depends on what comes to light. <clears throat> we'll see. Um, but yes, I, I believe we're moving up to 844 to 1035 sometime this month, sometime next month, very, very soon, very immediate term, short term time frame, right? I should say short term. Immediate term to me is like today, tomorrow, this week. Short term is like within the next two months. But weekly RSI looks great, bullish as hell. Daily RSI looks productive. We need to see more from it. But above the 60, that's a nice. bouncing off the 40, getting above the 60, that's nice. Can we get into the overbought zone? I would assume any day now, guys, any day now, these days are only getting bigger, right? I think any day now we're going to be above $600. <clears throat> it could genuinely be, right? We, we look at the weekly, three days, 19 hours, essentially four days left. It could be by the end of this week that we're up around, if not above $600. Within the next two weeks, I, I would safely assume so. Um, anyways. Not not a whole lot new with this look on the fibs. The next target would be five seventy four to six hundred dollars, and absolutely we could we could bust through that. But Bitcoin Cash does like it's six nine. So let's see how we do with that six hundred dollar area. It's not a bad thing to find resistance there and come back. In fact, generally speaking, when you break out of an, a consolidation phase, when you break out, you will back test it for support. Generally speaking, whenever you find resistance in your 61869 area, you back test your 0.5 or your 382 for support, of which I wouldn't consider the 382 for support. The 0.5 looks a little bit more appetizing because that is your previous breakout point, breaking out of your consolidation, pulling back to a breakout point, culminating that with the 0.5, finding support down there at about 536 bucks, 530 bucks, somewhere around there after finding resistance around 600 bucks and then up and beyond to 844, 1000. That is what I see happening personally. That's that's what I think is going to happen, right? Uh, but time will tell. Time will tell. This would put us out at the end of the year. Not sorry, <laughs> the end of this month. 
that we could be up there, right? If we were if, if we were doing this kind of trajectory, we move up over the coming days, over the coming weeks, and then have a very small bout of consolidation and then move up again. But who knows how it looks exactly? Maybe we blow up and then we pull back quick and then we go up and then then it's a long phase of consolidation. Who, who knows how it looks, right? But I'm expecting right now resistance at 575 to 600, support at 535-ish give or take a few dollars, give or take $5 out of the direction, but around 536, 530, um, and then I move up. If I'm wrong, I I would think that we just move straight up then, but um, I'm not anticipating that I'll be wrong to the downside. I accept that it can happen. I'm not that foolish to assume that I'm, I'm or that self-righteous to believe that I can't be wrong to the downside. If it does happen, though, we're all boned a little bit. It would be a bit uncharacteristic, in my opinion, of, of what would be ex, uh, expected. But we would likely move below three hundred and fifty dollars, even below three hundred dollars. So that that would just be it would be it would be uncalled for. But if something like that happened, hopefully it would just be really fast and then recover really fast. That stuff like that's okay. But if it's if it's sustained, like if that would that would not be good. I don't think we're gonna see that. I'm just I'm just saying. On the note of accepting that you could be wrong, right? But anyways, guys. That's all I got for you. If you liked the video, hit that like button. Shout out to the Dragon Riders in the House of the Dragon. I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye-bye.